to part two. Let's continue the story of the Israelites and how they needed judges, chosen leaders, to um, help them obey God. So soon after Shamgar rescued them from the enemies, the Israelites again stopped obeying God. God loved them too much to let them keep living in such a horrible way. So he let them face the consequences of their actions, again, hoping that they would realize that their ways are not good and that they need to listen to God. He was sh God was showing everyone that living your own way instead of God's way was a really bad idea. Once again, they were attacked by their enemies. This time, their enemies had a huge army of powerful chariots led by a terrible man called Sisera. The Israelites were very afraid because the chariots were fast and powerful. This powerful army made the Israelites slaves for 20 years. But God still loved the Israelites. When they asked him for help, God chose a woman named Deborah as another hero. Deborah and her helpers gathered many soldiers and prepared to attack the powerful chariot army. Sisera was sure he would easily win the fight and defeat them, but the Bible says the Lord rooted Sisera and all his chariots and the army by the sword. And Sisera got down from his chariot and fled on foot. Sisera's chariots became useless. God destroyed them and won the battle. After the battle, with God's help, Deborah wrote a song about what happened. She sang about how God used the sky and even a river to fight for his people and destroy Sisera and his chariot army. After this great victory, the Israelites served God for a little while, but soon they began to do horrible things again. And again, God allowed them to face the consequences for their sin, and they were attacked by their enemies again. God used different judges to rescue them many times. After each judge, the Israelites obeyed God for a little while, but they soon returned to their evil, sinful ways. They eventually became so wicked that they were doing the same things the wicked Canaanites had been doing before them. They even started fighting each other. Their lives were ruined by the consequences of their sin. Perhaps you have been doing something you know is wrong and is messing up your life. You know you're supposed to be kind to others, but you lose your temper and just sometimes say mean things without thinking. When you keep doing wrong things, they keep hurting you and hurting the other people too. And the more you do them, it's harder to stop. But there is hope for you. If you have believed on Jesus as your savior from sin, God has the power to give you victory over sin in your life. God gives victory. When you believe on Jesus, he not only saves you from sin, but he also has the power to help you say no to sin every day. He will show you grace by doing things in your life that you can't do on your own. He will give you strength to follow these instructions. In Ephesians 4.22, it says, you were taught with regard to your former way of life to put off your old self, which is being corrupted by its deceitful desires. God wants you to put off the wrong things you are doing. That means stop doing them. Tell God you know you are sinning and ask him for power to stop. But that's not all. To be made new in the attitude of your minds and to put on the new self created to be like God in true righteousness and holiness. Don't just stop doing the wrong thing. God wants to change the way you think and act so you can start doing the right thing. Find out what God says to do and then ask him for the power to do it. It's hard to stop what's doing what's wrong and start doing what's right all on your own, but God has the power to give you victory over sin in your life. God also had the power to give the Israelites victory over their sin but they chose to let sin ruin their lives again and again. Even the judges often let sin ruin their lives. Let's listen to some Israelites tell this sad story about one of the last judges God provided. Just as God had warned, when we stopped living his way, our enemies attacked us again. For 40 years, our enemies called Philistines made, us our, made our lives very difficult. But then God told a husband and a wife 
that they would have a baby who would begin to save the Israelites from the Philistines. God gave very special instructions about this baby. One instruction was that his hair was never to be cut ever. This was to show that he was set apart by God and his parents named this baby Samson and obeyed God's special command for him. When Samson grew up, his long hair was a reminder that God had chosen him to be a hero. God gave him super strength to fight against the Philistines. One time, he was tied up and surrounded by enemies who wanted to kill him. God gave him strength to break the ropes and defeat 1,000 enemy soldiers with only a donkey bone. God gave Samson incredible strength, but Samson wanted to please himself more than obeying God and serving him. He enjoyed having many girlfriends, even if they were his enemies. He foolishly told a beautiful Philistine woman about his secret, that if he, his hair was cut, that the strength would leave him. And guess what the woman did? She cut his hair while he was sleeping and the strength left him. The Philistines then were able to make Samson their slaves. Even though Samson had disobeyed, God gave him super strength one last time. Samson called out to God for help and God gave him the strength to destroy a huge building that was filled with thousands and thousands of our enemies. Samson died because the building fell on him, but he defeated more enemies that day than ever before. If only Samson would have chosen to live God's ways, things would be a little different. But Samson didn't want to live God's way and neither do we. Not long after Samson died, we went right back to living our own way and ignoring God's way and all over again. How sad that the Israelites continue to choose to live their own way instead of God's way. What about you? Are you choosing to make decisions based on what you think and feel is best rather than relying on God's power and doing what is right? Remember, you need to stop doing the wrong thing and start doing the right thing. Pray and ask God for power and strength.